Right, I thought I would add a cryptic crossword because I'm always showing people how to do all the evening standard puzzles. And in fact, I'm going to do a video of that one. And that Gogan there, I didn't do a video of this numbered one, code word. And I haven't done a video of a quick crossword, doesn't seem worth it. But we're going to do the cryptic because some people might be interested in how the cryptic crosswords work and they might have never done them before. And I'm only just getting to the stage where I can always do, to complete it, where I can actually complete all of it. So we're going to go right through every clue. And I will explain how they work. So, upset by dad, Enid has that hurt expression. There's dad, pa, and Enid, upset. It's the I-N-E-D. It's upset. The letters are upset. So upset by dad, Enid has that pained, has that hurt expression, pained. So that's pained expression. That's that's that one across. Seven across, a fetching thing for a sporting dog to do, retrieve. That's when you, the dog fetches something, it retrieves it, but there's also a dog called a retriever. Number eight across, did it die due to the repeated urge to perform? The, uh, repeated urge to perform, do, do, and we've got dodo, so it died out, didn't it, the dodo, it's extinct. Ten across, to play only about half a duet is rather poor, this one's tricky. Have a look at it for a little while, see if you can work out how it works, this one, before I explain it. So to play ab only about half a duet is rather poor. So if you've got rather poor, I'm sure you've got rather poor, hard up. And that 4-2, if you've got a few letters there, it's quite easy to come up with hard up. And I came up with hard up before I worked out how on earth it made it from that clue. But it's this, to play only about half. So to play is this harp, H-A-R-P. And you're not going to get that just from that. But as I say, you've got the other letters to help you. And you've got the fact that it's a 4 and a 2. So to play... This is the explanation for the clue. This isn't how I got to it. To play only about half a duet. D-U. That's half a duet. And it's about. So the harp is about it. It's around that half a duet. So the harp, which is the thing to play, is only about half. They've put in that word only to, to fox you. A duet is rather poor hard up so that's a, that's a very hard one that number 11 it's a funny one might one bite you in the nicest possible way insect okay it's just an anagram of the word nicest might one bite you the insect might bite you in the nicest possible that word possible is a clue that this might be an anagram way is uh you know just could, could, that could get you confused and think there's a st in there or a rud, you know, a street or a road or something or an ave. Um, so, you know, we can get confused with a clue like that where it's got the word way in it. But that possible, sometimes it means that it sounds a bit like something, but usually it's more likely to be like an anagram type thing. So might one, or sometimes it can be a shortened version of the word pos if it's possible. Might one bite you in the nicest possible way. So nicest possible way of night writing nicest this is a possible way of writing nicest and might one bite you an insect other words used to describe anagram clues are around or about um, or up is often used to, to mean that the letters are going to be mixed up or they're going to be around or they're going to be about okay so now we've got 40 is it 14 across a drink in the yard perhaps ale I didn't actually get this one at first, but uh, it's pretty simple. A drink, ale, in the yard, perhaps. Well, you drink a yard of ale, which is a glass that is a yard long. And if you're up at uh, Oxford or Cambridge, I can't remember which, or maybe both, uh, you have to drink that whole yard of ale in one go. It's got a sort of, it's a sort of trumpet-shaped glass with a little ball at the bottom, and it's quite a lot of ale. So that's a yard of ale. A drink in the yard, perhaps. Uh, number 16, shortly you'll find it next to London on the map. This is quite a tricky one as well. Shortly you'll find it next to London on the map. So it's Derry. It's a shortened way of saying Londonderry. So it's on the map, 
Derry, it's a place, it's on the map. That's one That's one way of saying it. Both, most cryptic clues give you basically two ways of describing the clue. So the, one way of describing it is the, on the map. But it's not always, uh, you don't always divide the clue up the way it appears to be divided up. That's the trick. Surely, so shortly, it's a shortened version of Londonderry. You'll find it next to London. So it's a short, it's a shortened version of a town that you'll find next to the London part of Londonderry. And it's on the map, Londonderry. So there's your two clues for that one. See, quite, quite clear once you've got it. 17 across. Can it take ages to grow? Very easy one, this one. So sage is an anagram of ages. So can it, this is the possible or probable or around or about part that gives you the idea it's an anagram. I made it into a question. So it's like, mm, might be, can it, is it be ages? Can it be this word ages? To grow, sage. So there's your two parts of that clue. 19, servant going half a mile in a vessel. Servant going half a mile in a vessel. Have a look at this one for yourself for a minute before I tell you how it's done. Think of the things I've said to you before when we had half a duet in Hard Up. Half a mile. You see half a mile in there? Here, look. L-E. So servant, valet, is a servant going half a mile, le, in a vessel. Vat. So it's in that vessel. The le, the half the mile. Serve, so there's the two parts of that clue. Servant is one part, going half a mile in a vat. Usually one half of the clue is the definition and the other half is how you form it, with literally with the letters. 21. Sacked the chap who got out of line. Again, this is quite a tricky one if you've never done cryptics before or haven't done them much. So sacked, obviously fired, you know that. So there's the definition part. Once you've worked... So sometimes you've got a few letters around from other clues and it, and once you've thought, well, it must be the word fired, let's have it, give it a go. You can then write the word fired in, you know, faintly and, and then let, ignore that word sacked because that's fired, that's the definition. And then have a look at the rest and try and see whether it makes the clue. So we've got the chap who got out of line. This is how I did this one. I thought it must be fired because I think I had a few of the letters already. And I thought, well, the chap who got out of line. Well, I suppose the I is like a line, isn't it? And the chap who's out of it out can actually mean an anagram it can mean that the letters are mixed around often if it's out but not in this case it just means the outside of it so fred that's the chap fred it's a man's name fred and he's outside of the line the i sacked fired so what a cryptic crossword does is it sort of confirms that you've got the right clue they're actually in some ways they're easier than um um quick crosswords because you once you've got the right clue you always know it's right nearly always so let's do 22 across sacked the chap who got out oh sorry we've just done that <laughs> produce or give up there's another thing in cryptic crosswords the way that they phrase the sentence often makes you think that you're looking at a verb when you're actually looking at a noun or it's a different meaning of the word so produce and remember it can also be produce which could be food right so Produce or give up, but it could be produce or give up. Produce is your yield and giving up is yielding. So there you are, you see. So that's another thing with cryptics. You've got to look at whether it's a verb, whether it's got multiple meanings and especially like it could be a verb. They're making it really look like a verb there with the way they've done that sentence, but it's actually a noun, produce. 23. I got this one by, um, just by logic from the, not, not logic. I got this one just um, by, I can't think of the word. Um, boat's coming past me. It's just distracting me. That's my excuse. Yeah, I just got this one by elimination. I'd, I'd got all these other clues and it just it had to be that bio. I've never heard of bio, but I'm assuming that bio is an ancient Roman's pet. Um... But no, I, I don't. Um, I don't know what that one is. But since the other clues I'm happy with, that is correct. But I can't. Maybe you can work out that one better than I can. But I can't work out how that makes sense in there. Ancient Romans pet. No, can't do it. <laughs> No. 
So there we are. There's one idea I can't get. Maybe you can. And maybe you can put me in the comments below. You can explain to me how that makes sense. But I haven't looked it up, you know, online or anything from what bio is. 26 across. So where did we get to? In general, to make progress, 3, 2. In general, to make progress. Well, to make progress is to get on. And... Do you know what? I can't. I can't see how it's in general. In general, to, ah, in look, gen. It's a short word for general. Gen, in general, two. <laughs> so, look, you see. So this word two is actually a part of the clue. Again, this is a slippery thing that happens with cryptic crosswords. You got to look at every word, and nothing. Nothing's as it seems. So, in general, two make makes the word progress. So we've got there's our clue. Okay, next one. It may fly a bit furiously. Fur. The fur may fly. And a bit furiously, it's a little bit of the word furiously, F-U-R there. See? So there's another one. You you, you do sometimes get... Um, uh, I think there is another clue somewhere here where we've got... Where the word is actually split between two words, but we'll come to that. But yeah, So sometimes a short word like that can be contained in a big word when it says that. It may fly, so the fur may fly. A bit furiously, so it's a bit of that word furiously. Now the next one. Is prosecuted for having published. Is sued. Is prosecuted for having published. Issued. See? It's just it's got a double meaning if you split it up like that. 30. Pay back something related to income tax. Return. The tax return, isn't it? That's related to income tax, but paying something back is returning it. So that's just the two ways of saying the same meaning. That's uh, more straightforward, less cryptic. 31, a little room in port. A den. A den is a little room. And I'm assuming there's a port called a den. And again, because I had these surrounding words, I'm just going to go with that. I didn't bother looking it up. I'm going to assume there is a port called a den somewhere. <laughs> if I wasn't sure about the other words, I would have looked it up. But I, I'm, I'm sure. 32, rows of houses around for hospital grounds. Uh, sorry, rows of houses around football grounds. Rows of houses, terraces, and you get terraces around football grounds as well, don't you? So it's the same as return, it's just two meanings. 33. How any pig can be made profitable. How any pig can be made profitable. This one really foxed me actually for a while. Didn't realise it was a simple anagram. Simple anagram of any pig. How any pig can be made so you, the, any pig can be made means, you know, it can be moved around and made into the word meaning profitable. How the letters any pig can be made into the words that mean profitable. A-N-Y-P-I-G. See, simple as that. Now we're going to do the downs. The downs. One down, the sadness of Father Thomas. Pa-tos. Tos. That's, that's a tricky one. Sadness, pathos. But I mean, look, Father Thomas, it's pretty unlikely that Father Thomas is your definition. Because, I mean, who on earth is that? Could be anybody. So sadness is very likely to be the definition here. So once you've got a couple of the others, especially that H, pathos was not hard to come up with. And then you can, and, and, and also father. Father is often par. We already had it in that clue in the one across as well. So that was not that hard to do, even though it's, uh, you know. Um, the simpleton, it seems, may be in the soup. The simpleton, it seems, may be in the soup. Noodle. A noodle is a simpleton, I suppose, and noodle soup. You silly noodle, right? You silly noodle. Number three. Droop. Losing heart or fall right down. I can get that without even looking at the crossword. So, look, droop. Losing heart. Think about what losing heart might mean if we're talking about the actual word droop. Loses it heart, lose one of those letters, doesn't it? Or fall right down, drop. There it is. Drop. It does drop down as well. Number four. Are such goods marked with hot irons? Branded. Right? Goods are branded, but they're also branded can mean marked with a hot iron. So that's clever, that. Uh, well, I suppose that's where the branded comes from. Uh, so branded goods, but branded goods, you see, that's a phrase, isn't it? Branded goods. 
So there's easy clue that one really when you think about it. Five, in tone, very discouraging, this refusal. Okay, you might think it's in tone, really looks like it could be an anagrammy kind of letters, but I don't think that's what it was. In tone, very discouraging, this refusal. It's the word never. And I can't think why it is. In tone. Tone? I did actually know why it was. Ah. In tone. No, I can't. <laughs> I had that one. I worked out why that was. In tone, very discouraging. Ah, here it is. Look, now this is one of these. See, these are tricky. Some crosswords use these a lot and, they, and you get used to finding them. But look, here's the word never. Look. It's there, right there. In tone, never. See, never. There's the word. And it's in that lot. In tone, very discouraging, this refusal. Never. Okay, so I'm glad we have one of those. AJP, most people have heard of. A JP, so JP Morgan, you might think. Um, or John Paul Getty, this one is. So that wasn't too hard, because we had the T and the Y there. So a JP, most people have heard of. That wasn't really a cryptic clue, that one, I don't think. Um, eight. Whether racing or hunting, it can be considered tedious. Drag. Yep, drag racing. And drag means tedious. And a drag hunt as well. So that's actually three. They've given you three clues for that one. Drag racing, drag hunting, and tedious is drag. Number nine. Do we hear is only to be expected. So expect you we hear when it's we hear it's a word that sounds like that or it could be a word that sounds like that so nine down do we hear and look it's the word do you d u e do we hear so it sounds like the word do it's only to be expected do it's expected 12 down determined to get all you need determined to get all you need 12 down where is it set so it's determined, it's set, set in stone. To get all you need, set, as in I'm set now, I'm set to go. So it means it's just two meanings. Determined, set, and to get all you need, I'm, a, I'm all set. Number 13, oh, I haven't crossed that one off, I'm sure I've got it. Truce, broken at the dining table. I would expect that to be an anagram of the, of the letters in truce, because it's five letters long, but was it? Was it? Uh, and where is it? Where's set gone? So it's here. Truce, yes it is, truce, croute, like salmon en croute, which is salmon in pastry, so en croute. Croute is a dining term. Um, so, where was it? Truce, croute, broken. Broken meaning it's break up those letters and put them back together, and it's at the dining table is your salmon en croute. All right. Uh, number 13, those courtly London nobles. Is that 13 or is that 15? F 15. Those courtly London nobles. So nobles, you know, it's going to be some sort of um, peers of the realm. So they're earls, actually. And you've got so many letters around here. This area was easy to do. Earls. And it's Earl's Court, isn't it? So those courtly London nobles. Earl's Court. Earls. Nobles. Next one. A sign that one may be getting a rise a sign that one may be getting a rise and that is just an anagram of a rise it makes Aries which is a sign okay so a sign Aries that one may be getting may be getting so may be getting telling you it's an it's a possible thing with those letters we might be getting it out of those letters so it's another way of saying it's an anagram lots of ways of telling you it's an anagram 19 Anne back from Vienna as a French style life. Well, in French, the life is vie, la vie. Um, and Anne, 
Where, is, where does Anne come into it? I don't know where Anne comes into it, but back from... It's from Vienna. Look, it comes back from Vienna. Vienna. No, ah, Vienna. Oh, yes, look, we take the NNA. We take Anne back. Backwards. And Anne backwards is NNA. And there it is. From Vienna. Take it away from Vienna. <laughs> and then that gives us a French to her life. V. Unbelievable. Okay, did you get that? So, no, 20 down. Persuaded to, to participate in double dealing. Persuaded to participate in double dealing. Lead. And this is another one where it's just... It's actually quite hard to see because it's the LE there and the D of dealing there. So it's, it's, it's in double dealing. But it's lead there. It's in double dealing. Persuaded. Lead. Oh, sorry, persuaded to participate. There's your definition, and it's in the word double dealing, double lead dealing. Twenty one, one to sing about, and it's four three. Fine day, one fine day, which is a song, one fine day, and it's a fine day is something to sing about. So it does actually have two meanings in it, even though it looks like it's only got one meaning in it. That clue. Twenty two. Anybody young but not useless. 22. Just um, three letters long. And it's you. It's you. Anybody young but not useless. Anybody, which is you. Anybody is you, right? So there's our definition. Anybody, you, is young but not Zero. Useless. You. See? Young. Not. Useless. Very, very odd one, that one. It's just like the three different things there, written down in different ways. Young, but not. Useless. So a bit, bit tricky, that one. 23 down. Attractively styled cathedral city. <coughs> this is Butley. I got this by elimination. Attractively styled cathedral city wait yeah it's not an anagram of the word style is it oh beautifully be like beautifully yes beautifully it's beautifully oh actually it might be adin oh no it's no because that's definitely a den yeah so beautifully beautifully Attractively styled cathedral city. Beauty Lee. And it's a, I presume that's a cathedral city. It sounds like one. So I'm just going to go with that. 24, a dash. You can look it up. In, well, I might be right or I might be wrong. A dash for the river. A run is a dash. And I'm assuming it's the river Arran. Uh, there must be a river Arran somewhere. In Ireland or somewhere. So that was that one. Uh, the clues around it just made it cl absolutely clear that is the right clue, the right answer. 25. Admitting one's proprietorship. 25. Owning. Admitting one's proprietorship. Well, I'm owning. Proprietorship is owning something and admitting something it's like in counselling you get this, don't you? Oh, are you, are you going to own that? You know, when someone says, oh, I, I really, I'm going to own my dislike of whatever it is, or I'm going to own my feelings. I'm not going to put it on someone else. I'm angry with him, but I'm going to own my anger. So that's what that means. Admitting one's proprietorship, and proprietorship is the other sort of method of owning, which is to actually physically own something. So that's a bit, bit of a weird one, but it's, it's still a cryptic clue. It's a legitimate clue, I, I would say. 26. Not surprisingly, it goes right round. <clears throat> um, it goes right around. Around is one of these words that tells you it's an anagram again, that the letters might be an anagram. And in this case, it's we're, we're moving around the letters of the word right. 
I didn't get this actually when I when I got the clue I didn't realize this but I can see it now so not surprisingly it goes right around and this cryptic part this bit that's telling you about the letters in the clue is also the definition this time so it's a very clever one so this not surprisingly is kind of an extra clue to tell you that actually this has double meanings within it as a clue so this we got the word we got the letters right r-i-g-h-t mixed around but it actually does go right around look girth which is r-i-g-h-t so it is the word right all mixed around but girth does go right around because it's girth so it's very clever clue that one very very clever little clue 27 down historic makers of stars historic makers of stars with this again it's just an anagram makers of is your anagram clue that we make we're going to make an anagram of the word stars and when you get clues where you think this might be the case just count the number of letters look stars got five letters five letters in the answer it might well be an anagram of that even if it was a seven letter clue it could be an anagram of of s-t-a-r-s so all seven letter letters but historic makers of stars we put the stars around and we get czars this particular spelling of czars there is more ways you can spell it with a c as well um or cz i think even so czars and they are historic and we've made them with an anagram it's two parts 28 supplied a loud fellow with food supplied a loud fellow with food fed now this is a musical term f means forte in italian which is notation for loud that's musical notation for um, playing very loud the f and ed is our fellow here and fed is giving him food so supplied a loud fellow with food supplied a loud f fellow ed with food fed we fed ed uh, so it's worth letting to know those because in musical terminology you get f meaning loud p meaning quiet you've got all the musical notes which is a to g um, you know they're handy to know handy to know just those they're the main ones because um, sometimes you'll get note you'll get the word note in a clue and that's a musical note not on any of these this time and finally number 30 knock out the head of security with a tool great clue that isn't it knock out the head of security with a tool i was i wanted to put the word kosh in there <laughs> but it's not kosh it's rasp knock rap is outside rap knock out so rap is outside of s which is the head of security i.e the first it's the beginning of the word security so we knock rap out of the head of security with tool with a tool there's your definition rasp is a tool and that is the cryptic crossword and it is the one from the evening standard thursday 29th september and i hope that helps you learning how to do cryptic crosswords <laughs>